Hey guys, I wanna um, I wanted to get on here and make a video about <coughs> kind of like overcoming E Day. That that was my topic, but this is gonna be about not only about overcoming E Day, but overcoming struggles, any struggles that you may face on a daily basis. And I don't like to make the videos about myself but when I tell you stories or things that have happened to me and how I've handled them um, the reason I tell you about me is just to kind of like I said to kind of let you know how I how I handled it and how I got through it and maybe that will benefit someone um, as you guys know that over the last year I've gone through a lot um, it's the end of June, um, and I guess it was April last year when I started my my uh, dental stuff, top dental stuff. Not only was I going through the extractions and the temporary and the implants, but I was also struggling with addiction. Um, just a lot going on. Um, wasn't sure, wanted to get through it, and wasn't sure how I was going to get through it. Um, a lot of prayer I've said that in other videos and I will continue to say it and I still do that today um, that is the main thing that has kept me sane and and has helped me to keep going prayer relying on my higher power um, you know if you are having anxiety about upcoming an upcoming e-day and for those of you that don't know when you hear people say e-day that means your extraction day the day that you have set to get your teeth pulled and your immediate denture put in i did not know what e-day was when i first joined the uh, denture groups on facebook i had no idea i just kept hearing people say an e-day and I, I had to ask someone so <laughs> but um realize that you know in these days in this day and time um things are so advanced i know i've talked i've talked to a few people that have had questions about pain during the actual extraction you won't feel anything um a good dentist well most any dentist is going to make sure you're completely numb before they start doing that before they start pulling on stuff um, and also most of the time when you are scheduled to have all your teeth pulled um, they are going to give you something for anxiety so and then they'll instruct you on how to take that the night before and then the morning of so you'll have that and then you're going to be numb so if you choose um, just to go with numbing and oral medication don't worry about it. You will be, uh, you'll be fine. Um, you're not going to feel anything. I don't remember much for my, for my extraction day. Um, if that makes you feel better, I really don't. Um, so don't worry about that. One thing I do want to say is a lot of people, and I think this was the same for me, like the first day after my extractions and then the first day after my implants, I felt pretty good and I thought man you know I I feel great for just having these extractions and then just having implants put in well it hit me at about day three so keep that in mind um, and the reason I'm telling you this is to not scare you I'm telling you this to prepare you um, don't the day after your extractions or your implant surgery do not overdo it even on the second day if you get up and you're feeling great don't overdo it because it you will swell and you will have some discomfort and the worst day normally for for me and I think normally for most people is usually about the third day so it's very important that those first two days that you get rest rest as much as possible um, keep up with your medications you know you go home you take a nap and you get up even if you're not hurting make sure you go ahead and take some ibuprofen um, 
as a prophylactic um, for the swelling. Um, so, and then like I would say day two, the night after, on day two that night, take ibuprofen right before you hit the sack and always make sure you take all of your antibiotics. Um, but talking about overcoming this stuff, you know, about the time that I had my dental uh, surgery scheduled, um, and I was at that, back then, um, I was trying to come off of the drugs too. Um, just really having a rough time. Well, we had one adult cat here at the house, and I, I was wanting a kitten so, so bad. Um, animals just, I love animals, and to me, they just, they make things better. Um, they know when you are hurting. They know when you're in pain, and they comfort you. You can cry to them. Um, they're just, for me, um, my cats have helped me a lot this past year. Um, where, what I was going to say is we had the one adult cat, and then um, my fiance agreed to let me get a kitten. Well, I picked one out, and he was like, well, you might as well grab another one, you know, because we brought them from Missouri, from Missouri to Kentucky. And he didn't want to... Um, to break to bring just one for that long ride so we brought two home man so much fun and uh boy like i said they have helped me through some really really bad days um and we brought those home in may and then we ended up getting a third of the litter brought to us in i think august so we got three um we got three kittens. Well, they're about a year old now. And then one adult cat who's about three or four. But these cats have um, gotten me through so much this last year. So much. Um, and I'm, I'm going to insert a clip here because I want to show you the joy that they bring to me. Every it, You don't know what they're going to do. Um, and I could be coming, I could come in and be having like a bad day or be depressed and I'll see one of them and it just makes everything better. But hang on a second because I want to show you something. Hello guys. I wanted to start off my video with this. <laughs> hey. You cannot come out of that hole. You have to, <laughs> you can't get out that way. Love. You cannot get out that way, baby. Here, there, now go under. All right, guys, I'll be back. Hey, you cannot get out that way, baby. Lovey, you're gonna hurt yourself. But if you have an animal, man, rely on them for comfort. You know, you're gonna have some rough days. It's gonna get frustrating, um, but hang in there and just remember what I said. It does get better. It does get better. It does get better. If you get to a point where um, you're just really, really, really struggling, reach out to me. I'll give you my personal phone number and I will talk you through it. Um, and all, all of this really goes back to before you even start this process, making sure you find a good denture maker or a good denturist, a good dentist. Somebody that is going to work with you to make sure that you get good fitting dentures. Not somebody that's in it for the money, that just wants to take your money, give you a set of dentures and get you out the door. Guys, that's gonna, that's, that will stress you out and frustrate you more than what you need. You don't need that. You're already struggling with um, happen to have your teeth extracted and get dentures in the first place. That in itself is depressing. Um, you don't need to be worrying about um, these dentures flopping around, you know? I mean, yes, your gums are going to shrink. And yes, it will take time and through adjustments and relines to get, to get them right. But 
um, you need somebody that is going to be understanding and that's going to work with you on this. Um, the dentist I have, even though my situation was bad at the beginning, it turned out to be a blessing. Um, I've told you before that the dentist that um, that I, that took my money, you know, he did the extractions and the implants, and then when it was time to to go for impressions and have the um, implants uncovered, um, my appointment was canceled because he had sold the practice. And I thought something was strange because after I paid him the, the cash for this, I told you he was acting weird. Well, he was acting weird because he knew he was going to retire or sell the practice, and he was trying to get as many people in there and to make as much money as possible before that day come, and that's bullshit. Um, in the end, in the end, it ended up, I ended up benefiting from that because the guy that came in and bought the practice is fantastic. Um, he, he works with you, and if he does, like, the, when he did my impressions, my initial impressions, the first one he did was terrible. He, I didn't see it, but he didn't like it, and he, he said, if you were my family, um, I would not feel comfortable with this. So, even though the impression process for me was terrible, um, he did another one. Um, and that made me respect him even more. Um, but, you know, they've been great. Um, I had not much trouble. I had a little bit of um, rocking um, right after extractions and when I got the uh, temporary. But my next appointment, I went in and I told them exactly what was going on and they fixed that. You know, I'm hearing so much in these groups where people are going to different places. They're trusting in the dentist, denturist company, um, giving them every penny they have for their teeth and they're basically just getting something and being told that there's nothing they can do deal with it no no that doesn't work you you do whatever you have to if it's one of these big companies like aspen or affordable that you go to you threaten to call corporate you make them remake them um you know I'm willing to bet that most of the people in that office don't have dentures, so they have no idea what you're going through. And I, I thought I had said this in the last video I did, but I actually saw um, somewhere there was a girl. Actually, no, I saw a YouTube video. I come across a YouTube video of a girl that was in dental school. And she had all of her teeth, but she... Um, did they made their students wear dentures which i don't know how they did that but they had to that was part of their schooling they had to wear dentures um and they had to do it for maybe a week so they could empathize with what we go through and honestly i think that should be a requirement of any dentist any dental school that you go through i think they should make you do that um that way these dentists can empathize with what we're going through and that will make them an even better dentist so um, I've kind of got off on a tangent but just um, think about everything I said if you have not had your e-day yet if you're scheduling an appointment or you're getting ready to start this process really think about what I said with making sure the uh, the person you've chosen to do this is going is has your best interest at heart and that they're really going to work with you um you know if you're scheduled just think it think like i said think about what i said and then if something happens and you're thinking man i don't know or even ask them you know are you willing to do everything possible to work with me that to get the best fitting dentures possible because i've seen horror stories where people are given stuff and pretty much told to deal with it you know, if if you don't feel comfortable that they're gonna be, that they're gonna work with you, then cancel the e day and find another dentist. Um, I know it can be tough when you're at a point where you're having a lot of pain. You just want the teeth out of your mouth. You just want a set of teeth, but you got to be thinking about long term here. Um, 
you could always have the teeth extracted, like I said in my last video, and then um, wait on the dentures. Um, I know that, you know, having your teeth extracted and not having anything is a scary thing. But you don't want to just throw money down for this just to get teeth, just to have something um, aesthetic so you aesthetically look good. Um, Cause these things, you gotta remember this. Ha these things have to function. You have to be able to eat with them. So all I'm saying is just take your time in this process. It'll make things go much smoother, um, and you'll get through this much, much easier and much quicker. If it'll make you feel better, draw up. You can always draw up a contract. A good dentist or a dentist that's going to work with you would sh should not have any trouble signing that. Um, that's just a thought. Um, keep yourself a journal. Um, that way, or start doing videos like I did. Um, you don't have to post them. Just get your camera out and start talking if you don't have anybody else to talk to. Get it off your chest. So, but that's all I really have, guys. I, I just want to uh, just kind of do um, a video to let you know that you will get through this. Um, trust your instinct go with your heart when choosing um, a dentist or denturist to do your work um, <clears throat> and go to your animals if you're having a day where you're feeling sad take your take your cats out I take my cats outside and let them play and uh, that keeps that gets my mind off things if you've got a dog take your dog for a walk if you can get your cat to walk on a leash <laughs> Take your cat for a walk. Good luck with that. We we tried to put our bigger one. She had a collar on. We tried to put one of those retractable leashes on her, and it was a nightmare. Um, it it actually got to the point. It was funny at first, and then it was scary because um, we thought she was going to hurt herself. But um, I don't know, guys. I just I want you guys to know that. Um, the purpose of me doing these videos is to share with you what I have gone through, kind of give you some pointers. Um, so hopefully um, you'll have a smoother process, but I appreciate all your support. I've said it at the, at the end of every video and, and I'm going to continue to say it. Thank you so much for all the uh, people subscribing for the love, the support, the comments, reaching out to me um, and sharing your story that means the world to me and I'm finding that a lot of people that have reached out to me we've had similar things we've got similar things going on or we've had similar things happen in our lives um, and it just helps me to know that I'm not alone and you should know that you're not alone in this um, got a ton of people that will back you um, I wish I could quit my job and advocate for every denture wearer just fly around the country, and for those that are having trouble, um, fly in and, and go to your appointment with you. They don't want to deal with me, buddy. I'll, uh, you'll have two or three sets of dentures by the time you walk out of the office if I come your way. <laughs> you guys have a great uh, rest of your day, a great week. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I love each and every one of you, and I will talk to you soon. Hey guys, there's one other thing I want to share with you, um, because it it um, it kind of applies to this video. Um, one of my subscribers, one uh, somebody that um, I talk to regularly that messaged me, um, got herself into a situation where she had her teeth extracted, and the dentist she chose to go to, I guess the immediate dentures they gave her were terrible. They made her another pair, and they still were terrible. They did not want to um, give her her money back until she threatened to uh, rent a tooth or gum suit and pick it <laughs> out front of the dentist office. Um, once she did that, she's uh, she's now in the process of getting a full refund. <laughs> I think that's just fantastic. Why am I sharing this with you? Do what you have to do. 
If you don't feel comfortable with the dentist that's extracting your teeth and making your dentures, you could always have the extraction to go with the mail order dentures. You've got Russell Klein and you've got Joe's um, now. Now, I know Russell Klein, I think, has gone up in his prices because um, of all the denture groups and stuff on Facebook, a lot of people are using him. Um, but that's an option. Um, it is a little cheaper. Now, everything you get is going to be in the mail. So your impressions, you'll have to just go back and forth in the mail. But that may be, that may be what works for you um, because a lot of others are going that route and they've had good experiences with it. There's a couple people that um, I know that have experience, two people that I'm pretty close to. One has experience with Joe's and the other has experience with Russell Klein. I don't have any experience, but I can point you in the direction if that's something that you're interested in. So I just wanted to share that, guys. You have a great day and a great week.